All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is going to be the final Kingdom Hearts playthrough before Kingdom Hearts 3. I say that, of course, and I know I'm starting this basically with no time left, but I did say I was going to play it to, to someone, I don't remember who, before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Uh, welcome back to my least favorite collection that they released, and I think even they kind of hashed together because it's just literally 2.8. It's not really anything major. We're going to play the only real game in this collection. Oh, nice. Thank you. Something I played literally years ago. I don't even remember, to be truthful with you. We're going to play Dream Drop Distance HD. I didn't really play the 3DS version because this game came out when I wasn't really using the 3DS. Because I pretty much had no reason to. And I kind of was still just playing Pokemon Heart Gold all the time. If I had adopted Pokemon, like Black and White and uh, Black 2, White 2, maybe I would have. But I didn't, so I never really got a 3DS until much later, which sucks because, you know, they get to play Metroid Fusion. And I don't, and Nintendo will never change that, even though I would pay money for it. But that's besides the point. Uh, hold on, let me... Oh, wait a minute. That is not right. Dream Drop Distance. Whoopee. I wonder if I'm going to get scalped for showing this. Something is telling me not to. <laughs> Good old Mickey. Once again. Not even letting that start. Yeah, I don't know why this weird border is here. This is the same setup I was using for Kingdom Hearts, or I mean Tales of Vesperia. I don't even know how I got that confused. So yeah, this is the final game that I did not play at all. And I think I may have played it once on the 3DS, so that's, I kind of invalidated that last statement. But I didn't go far. I didn't really like it, to be completely truthful with you. But... Yeah, you know how it is. Okay, I'm not sure this far. Alright, so once again, we'll just start a new game. We'll do standard mode. Vibration on. Uh, let me... Oh shit, I almost knocked my mouse the fuck off. It looks like I'm going to have to make a custom filter for this game. Because if I exit to the PlayStation menu, see it fills in the border completely. That is very weird. That shouldn't happen. I don't think that should happen. Let me see something. What is it again? Sound and screen. Oh, never mind. Yo, Tails, you holding out on me, you fuckers. Never mind. Still there, though, which is kind of weird. Full, full screen now. Okay, much better. So I was able to fix a little bit of a border issue that I was <coughs> having when I was setting up this game. So we'll set subtitles on. Yes, we will proceed with this. Very nice. I had to restart the game, actually. It's kind of weird. I don't remember setting that up, but apparently I did. I set the display area all incorrectly. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? 100%. Yeah. Xehanort! You want to fill me in? I am. Hey, do you remember now, or 
Wait. Did you never lose your memory? Does it matter? Yeah, he murders him. It's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> Excellent. My name is, is Ansem. Good God, this story. But anyway. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. See, what's funny is that later there's land over there for some reason. And they just flat out never address that. It wasn't there in the first game, but it's there in the second game. Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting... This is exactly as it happened, by the way. For all the sail. Right. Oh, well, he's gone. Riku! I'm fine. I don't think so. <laughs> this is exactly as it happened. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was <laughs> right. Those wretched guppies are here. Well, it's about time. We settled the score. Ursula, but how? Is this the test? Come on. Uh -huh. You can work it out later. I like how he's just standing on almost nothing Sorry, and he's fine. Jerry's, but I won't fall for that trick. Alright, so how different is the combat? Mementos are optional tutorials and flashbacks. Access them by selecting play now or view now when the cues appear. Oh god, it's gonna use R2 and L2? Ugh. Ugh. Sure. How different is it? It's, pr it's probably exactly the same as everything else. No more 3DS bullshit. Now you can tell what they actually remade for 60 FPS, which is nice. Left stick moves, you can rotate the camera. Oh, please don't be inverted. Oh, no, it's actually perfect. Holy shit, look at this. Yeah, this game uses the deck command system, which I hate, but oh well. We're just gonna stick with it, why not? Press X to attack. Keep pressing X after landing an attack, you'll perform a combo. Take out the tentacle. You start with a decent amount of combo plus? Absolutely not. Three hits are my favorite in every video game. Yep, you have HP, you get block to start, and dodge to start, okay. Oh fuck. You still get iframes when you dodge? I think you do. The camera is really eager to move though. Lock on to enemy and the camera will stay pointed. Locked on you can switch by using R1 and L. Doesn't that mean you can't move? Oh no, you can still move. That's a little weird. I would probably like the right stick like they do in Kingdom Hearts 2, but... Lying on is a great way to keep track of foes in the heat of the action. To exit, press R1. The command deck allows you to perform more powerful attacks and magic. Select a command... Yeah, this is probably going to be stacked with cures by the end of the game. <laughs> I like playing like that, okay? I, nobody shit on me for that. Quick blitz? Yeah, I don't like the melee commands usually. Oh, is it auto-reloading? Yeah, just for the tutorial, I guess. Uh, you never know where, where you'll find new commands to install them. Yeah, you have to do the birth by sleep thing. Never get stuck, you can access help in tutorials like this one by choosing mementos. Alright, simple. And I think they also used assets for this to make 1.5 to begin with. You can't toy with me. You Defeat the Phantom oh. Ursula! What, what a fucking spoiler! Yeah, I don't usually like those kinds of attacks. Oh, you get air slide to start? Yo, you fucking have a stacked deck to begin with. Oh, they give you six potions, okay. See, I don't like putting potions there because a lot of times they just auto-scroll to potions when you just want to wait for the next thing to come off in two seconds. It kind of gets annoying, which is why I never really like using potions. I don't think I really ever use them to begin with. Okay, well, that hurts. Well, obviously, since you don't really have much of anything, we just dump everything we have on Ursula. Yeah. 
Okay. Simple. Still better than the first game's combat in a slight way. You're a little more mobile. But I, I do like the Keyblade combat of the first game a little more. Now you both failed, by the way. We have a very waterlogged intro. Is this going to take us to deep dive? I actually don't remember if it does. technically is a deep dive into yourself. It's not really a deep dive into some other place. Oh yeah, he was using Soul Eater just a minute ago. Which is kind of weird, because I don't think Soul Eater is an actual Keyblade. Absolutely. Mark of Mastery Exam. Sure, we'll we'll watch it. Why not? We'll watch everything as it comes up. I guess. As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question: What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found. Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light, Keyblade wielders like yourself. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. Absolutely. We must be ready. Five days. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. If only he saw the shit Sora does in Kingdom Hearts 2, but, you, you know. The proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, what would Yen Sid know? He sits in this tower all day. I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Oh, he can still summon the original. Okay. Walking that path changed me. I'm not yeah, sure he's if right. I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then, Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. I'm dead serious, what would Yen Sid even know? He sat in the tower, he did nothing as Aqua and everyone went to their deaths pretty much. He, he just d sat around, he didn't do anything. Yen Sid's obviously a great guy as you can tell. Alright, great. Right. This mini game will take down enemies and collect prizes if you fall at high speed. Tracy has passed through the goal ring that lights up once you met certain goals. These goals vary from dive to dive. <clears throat> Attack enemies when the target is yellow. 
When defeat boss, you only need to target their flashing weak points. Dodge and reduce speed. Prizes. Oh, dodging deflect. Oh, cool. I don't know. I was really playing Kingdom Hearts about two years ago, and then I stopped. Oh shit, you can attack that for some reason. Even though it pretty much did nothing. And since then, I haven't really played much Kingdom Hearts, to be truthful. I don't like this series that much, let's put it like that. Although I did want to play it as a kid, which is a long time ago. Oh shit, that's a, something you can't go through. Is there any real reason to do most of this? Feels like they put this in as, as minigame shit for the 3DS version. Which I'm okay with, because I didn't really like the 3DS version. Which is weird, because I liked a lot more games on the DS than I did on the 3DS. Alright, obtain Spark Dive. I played a lot of really weird shit on the 3DS, or on the DS at least. I even played Recoded, which was fucking awful. Huh? Besides the leveling. This is... Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. Yeah, Yen Sid's a troll. You gotta love him for that, at least. Oh, they put Twewi characters in this game. I remember now. Yeah, that game was super relevant. Even when this game was new. But what happened to Riku? Riku! Hello! Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! <laughs> yeah, they really wanted to push this game for some reason. <clears throat> Sora, right? Yeah, but... Uh, how do you know that? Looks like they're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. I didn't play this game either, Players by the way. Get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Yes, with? and it gets better and better. Sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. It's the most Whoa. realistic way to think about stuff. Oh yeah, you can like slide and stuff in this game. <laughs> Flow motion basics. Stuff like poles and uh, banisters. Flow motion lets you use the environment to the fullest. Use L and square to slide into a pole or wall and you want to flow motion. You can press circle to jump or square to gain a burst of speed. This makes getting around much easier. So do you only slide in this game? Yep. You could do attacks based off of that. You always have to slide into flow, into flow motion. You can use some objects just by landing on them. Jump on them. Oh shit, it's circle. I don't know why I thought it was uh, X for a second is jump. That was really weird. Not sure where to go. Go with the flow. Thank you. Actually, they did release uh, The World Ends With You on Switch, so I guess it is relevant again. <laughs> sure, I guess. You get anything from hitting some of this? It's like a very dead version of Traverse Town. Can you even light the candles? Nope. 
It's literally just Traverse Town and Map Alone. Yeah. Oh shit, it's not that, it's X. I have commands allow you to use items in your stock area. You can only use a limited number of each item per battle. This number is shown on your deck. If you're out of an item, you cannot use it even if you leave it installed on your deck. You got a potion. Yeah, there's no one here. It's too quiet. Can you open this? Absolutely not. You can save. There's X while well save point to open the save menu where you can do the above. Yeah, there's no MP in this game. They they don't like MP anymore in Final Fantasy and other Square games. They kind of got rid of all that shit, which is kind of sad because I, I like MP systems. Reality shift. I blame Final Fantasy 13 for that, by the way. You can bend the rules of the world around you. It works differently in each world. This pink symbol is time for reality shift. Press triangle and circle. You can lock onto the object you were targeting and aim. Press X to launch in the directory shown and blast any enemy it hits. So you could just throw it. Oh, this was definitely some touchscreen bullshit. 100%. Depending on your log on target, you may need to meet a different requirement to hit the pink reality shift marker to appear. For most foes, this means dealing a certain amount of continual damage. Absolutely. You can tell what's a leftover touchscreen gimmick. Oh my god. I like the 3DS for the two screens. Hey, I don't like I it for the touchscreen bullshit. Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Right. I knew that. Of course. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Oh yeah, we'll have more chance to survive if we do that. It's Neku. What? Neku Sagaraba. You asked. I don't think there's any traditional Neku Final Sakuraba. Fantasy characters in this game. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> Full motion combat. Oh boy. Almost isn't just for getting ranked, using combat. Yeah, I, I did that too. It will change automatically when a flow motion attack is possible. Oh, so you don't really have to do too much. Okay, so it's it's just like free attacks basically. I'm not gonna have to kill these guys again, right? Like the tutorial ended. Alright, I think so. Sometimes sliding into enemies works as well. You can slide into a large enemy, you can swing that enemy around. That's pretty vicious. That's not cool. So like right off the bat, you can throw them around like that. Oh, okay. You don't even have to really do too much else. Okay, I see how it works. There is no real animation for sliding, it's just at the end of your dodge roll. It counts it as a slide for some reason. These things with you, they're dream eaters too. Yeah. No, this is a cat, I'm you gonna idiot. Survive the game. I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. That's how you know this is a very, very weird game. Because this is never coming back, never referenced before. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, Every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. 
But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness. But some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. And it's cute! They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you, just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. Yeah, I think you can assemble a, a party, an entire party of spirits to help you. I never really noticed that they actually help you at all, but apparently they will. You will receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares or hostile dream eaters. You can then use those dream pieces to create spirits. Okay, I think they give you one of the dogs just for free. You can create from scratch or from a recipe. Create a spirit using a recipe. You'll need to collect all the materials in advance. Starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Once you settle on spirit you want to create, you can sacrifice a deck command to give your creation a stat boost. Okay, yeah, I'm not giving them any names. Alright, so they, they give this one to you for free, which is fine. You can create a spirit with uh, a higher level or rank than usual. You can sacrifice one of your commands to give it a stat boost. Various types of bonuses are available. I'm going to choose a command now. Okay, sure. So we'll, we'll completely ramp it up. What do we have for free? Can you give it potion? HP plus 5. Let's give it Let's give it spark dive. Sure. Let's do, do that. We'll give it defense because that will probably last longer than HP plus 5. Although, to be fair, Kingdom Hearts has really low HP thresholds, unlike Final Fantasy. Okay. I like Meow Wow. Don't fucking judge me. Meow Wow is a great name. <laughs> it's perfect. Hooray. Oh, you can play with the fucking thing? Yo, they stole this for Pokemon! Okay, well... Sure. There you go, buddy. All one is help. Very nice. You can poke it and you can pet it. They legit stole this for Pokemon. I can't believe it. Yo, Squirt Enix! What are you doing? Actually, I don't know what you fucks are doing, so whatever it is what it is. Okay, I think we're we're good friends now. Receive link points, use them on the ability link board to earn deck commands and choose ability link. Oh my lord, you need a lot. If you get the start point and spend link points to advance one space at a time, unlock spaces unlock spaces to earn new deck commands and abilities. Use some link points now. Okay, sure. Well, they, they clearly give you this 10. That's a freebie. Special commands can be learned or activated, which boosts your stats or unlock new moves. Abilities are obtained from spirits. Most abilities you, you obtain can be activated at any time. Stat boosting abilities require the spirits you obtain with them stay in your party. If your basic attack and a spirits attack connect at the same time, both attacks will power up and send opponents flying. Forming this link critical will give your link gauge a huge boost. Okay. I'm not doing photo mode. I'm okay. I hate photo mode in every game, though. That's that's not this game at all. You can push them around. It's nothing again about this game. There you go. I just never use photo. I always thought photo mode was kind of an unnecessary addition to be truthful. Oh, he doesn't make the Keyblade disappear in this game? Yeah, I don't, I don't really like magic in this game. These guys kind of remind me of, like, Furbies. If anyone even remembers what those were. 
feels like a lifetime ago, to be truthful. That's like something you'll see in like a nostalgic like 90s, early 2000s like cartoon or movie now. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? It's almost like he was planning to betray you. No way! Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku! They're too dangerous! Well, do something. What? Why am I so sleepy? Oh, yeah. You get to do this. This is where the fun begins. It's Riku's turn. Hooray! So the fun part of this game is you actually get to swap between Riku and Sora. You can't hit those? Oh shit. You get to swap between Riku and Sora throughout the entirety of the game. And I think that you can kind of extend your time as each one if you want to do certain stuff with them. But I remember it coming at really annoying times and I really didn't enjoy it too much. Are these things even alive? No, they, they don't really do too much. Okay, well that's already done. I think you can use Mega Flare. I really wish Kingdom Hearts used more Final Fantasy stuff to be truthful. I feel like there's there's so much to draw on from literal decades of video games that are really good. And I think this game has none of it. And I'm starting to get the feeling that Kingdom Hearts 3 will also follow suit and have enough, next to nothing, which is kind of unfortunate. Huh? Am I in... Travers. Travers Town? My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the... What was that, Lady in the Tramp? My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Well, yeah, names are for friends. Riku. Okay, that's not how you should answer. Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world... Hogwash. That's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. I like that. Aw, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Ryan. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find. Maybe even your friend, Sora. <sighs> you know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. <sighs> but... Unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. You know, it's funny because he just said the world is as many things as, it, as people need it to be. So assuming that there's only two versions is a little preemptive. But I guess he knows for certain, and obviously this game is not going to go that crazy. We're not going to do some ridiculous multiverse shit like Pokemon or Injustice. 
Approach a pink dot and press X to access a link portal. You can face off or team up with spirits from other worlds. This portal is more of a difficulty level. Okay, so yeah, pretty much. Well, he was right here, so he's an asshole. He left. It's not triangle. I almost did that again. Imagine having to learn it normally the first time with being alternate versions of X, then having to learn it again separately. I really don't like sliding dash. That is a very displacing move. I don't think you can throw these enemies, right? No. I don't think you really would need to to begin with. This is like slingshotting, right? I, I do not like this. There you go. What the fuck are these things? Holy shit! A bunch of fucking goats attacked me. Oh my god. This is a very weird game. Now I remember why I probably didn't finish it. They got goats and shit. Satanic. Okay, well that was nice. Why is he no sleep? You know what, it goes with the theme of this game, actually. I take it back. <laughs> Let's look at it. Borrow these spirits. The spirits will return home after a certain amount of time. Oh, it's a friendship portal. Look at that. That's nice of them. I guess other ones will make others appear as opposed to helping me. Why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. I have no dreams. Which is funny because oh, okay. I've got plenty of dreams. It's not as anime as I thought it would be. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I'm not human. I had a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything. But it turned out that... His were the most powerful dreams it's the of most all. anime shit ever. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. I think they, yeah, they give you the bat for Riku to start. There you go, same as before. Are the recipes shared? I think they are. But for this one in particular, we have to just roll with what they give me. We'll give it potion, I guess, because I can't unequip anything else. It's a simple bat. I, I, hey, listen, Komori Bat is a great name, alright? Don't shit on me for that. I'm gonna have to rub it again. I got you huh? now, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's. I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, all right? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go, Dream Eaters! What? That one doesn't really even look like a nightmare, to be fair. <laughs> Linking with spirits, you can D-Link with them, can't you? Which, to be fair, I never used D-Link to begin with anyway. Sora and Riku each link with spirits in their own unique way. Can we fill up the spirit's link gauge and it will briefly lend you its power? Sora uses link attacks. Riku changes link styles. Kind of like Burp by Sleep, actually. That's pretty cool. Link gauge will refill the spirit's attacks connect with an enemy. I like how it shows it bouncing off, by the way. Switch to link command and press triangle to unleash attack. Link with one, link with both. Link with two simultaneously to do a powerful dual link. Okay. And hold on, spirit shortcut command. Oh my lord, wow, okay. I see how this works. Okay. 
I have to be close to it, I'm guessing. Actually, I can't do this yet. Darkest fears. There we go. Yeah, this is the command style shift from Birth by Sleep. Oh, okay, the switch menu is automatic. I thought I had to push left to get to the switch menu. And just toggle through it, period. Build link gauges of both spirits in your party and continue with both to perform a dual link. Switch to link command, then use up and down. Okay, well, actually, dual links are much more powerful than linking with a single spirit. Click as many spirits as you can, you'll never know what new tricks you might unlock. That's weird, I clicked right and they took me to the switch menu first. Uh, or before they showed it on the what? left. Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. I know the feeling. Uh, why am I suddenly so sleepy? Back to Sora. So does their world pause when they fall asleep? Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But fuck that, by everything time, went to fucking shit. The world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves. And the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted keyblades in the image of the original keyblade and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces. Seven of light, thirteen of darkness. It's very uneven. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts. It was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. Alright. Yeah, a bunch of extra terms from uh, the variety of games that exist before. I guess the time doesn't freeze. They just fall asleep where they stand and nothing attacks them. They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. This game you will alternate between Sora and Riku to progress through the story. To drop or switch between characters, just select drop on the pause screen or in the main menu. Drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the field. Sleep and other negative statuses will cause your drop gauge to drain more quickly. When it runs out, you'll enter bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After bonus time ends, you will drop into the next character. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Investigate the area. Can you even do anything with this? 
Okay. Well, thank you, Spirit. You paid attention to the cutscene just as I did. I think you can extend the drop meter, and or at least slow it from decreasing. I don't remember being able to just drop right out into the next character. Look at this, it's the bent mail post. Oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. Leave this area, sure. Now this is new! Yeah, I don't remember this. I might have quit at some point not too soon after this. You can't really roll cancel as fast as the original, I don't think. What the hell? Oh, if you fall down, what, you can use that to boost back up? I'm guessing we're not going to get something ridiculous like triple jump again, are we? Green one is the way out. Yeah, yeah, ah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Can I climb back up there? there. Oh, hey, yeah, ah. So, can your spirits be incapacitated, and what do you do if they become that? Do they just auto revive like yeah, Donald and Goofy yeah. would? I feel like that would be the case. Oh, there's something yeah. over there. It's at least worth a look. I also feel kind of weird, because I'm not really gaining any experience. At least not a lot, to be fair. I really hope I get cure soon so I can remove potions. Technically, in the short run, potions help you more. I remember you gotta toggle up because it naturally scrolls down. Look that actually worked out really nicely. Yeah, it's probably worth exploring because I definitely am gonna need to level up. I did it! Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it so much. I got it back, but still, I, I hate it. They changed it for Kingdom Hearts 1, they changed it for Kingdom Hearts 2, and I believe in Birth by Sleep it's also Triangle, but in this game it's X again. <laughs> I'm cursed! I'm never gonna get it right, so fuck it. I don't care. Whatever. Oh shit. Nope. Nope! Just ride this up like I was supposed to. I'm never gonna do it right, so I give up. I mean, the magic system in Kingdom Hearts 2, in my opinion, is awful. I like Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1's uh, magic system a lot more. I just think it made more sense and it was more usable than Cure immediately depleting your entire MP bar. That's why, despite Kingdom Hearts 1 being a very blocky combat system, I actually like it better. You know, there's enemies here. This is my first Kingdom Hearts game. Oh, fuck me. Can you use... no. Oh, but you could quick summon the Link menu using L2. That would have been kind of nice to know. R2 doesn't really do much, though. Alright, see ya. Let's see, can you... What does L1 do? L1 returns you to the start of it, if you really want to use that. I have no clue what R1 does. Nothing yet, but L2 is a fast track to the link menu, which they didn't tell me at all. Let's see if I can get this. Shit, I already fucked up. Got it. 
Gonna get the big opening. Yeah! What is the map? Spark. Just install commands to use them in the main menu. Select command deck, add a deck. You can assign one shortcut command by highlighting and pressing square. You can jump to... Oh, well, basically, all one will take you to the start. I think the only thing that is really equipped right now is, is Blizzard. Yeah, which is says my L1. Uh, sliding dash. What's spark? Summon a ring of revolving light crystals that deal damage to enemies. Sora only. Okay, well, how do I... Not shortcut. Here we go. Triangle removes. It sets spark and then quick blitz. Maybe I should set quick blitz as my start. Because Quick Blitz is, is a, like a fast dodge. I don't think I have anything else extra. Yeah, all these, are, all these other ones are just given. Item boost. Magic haste. Attack boost. Okay. I get the feeling like you could really grind the shit out of this game if you know what you want to do and what you want to get. Oh, they count how many drops? I wonder how high that number goes. We get to some really ridiculous number by the end of the playthrough. Yeah, this is all completely new. That's pretty cool. They didn't just reuse the same three maps. They actually added more stuff. Yeah. Yes. Maybe not. Maybe you gotta throw something into it. Beautiful. Freeze. I fucking it's second nature. Come on, give me a give me a break, man. You guys can't do this for fucking years and then change it back. The fuck out of here! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I try to slide into it. Yeah. Come on. You. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was incredibly quick. Actually, I'm kind of an idiot. I probably should keep potion on until I get cure. Ugh, because you never know, I might get ambushed by like a ridiculous boss fight. The last thing I need is to be unable to heal. So here's what I'll do. Let me, uh... I guess I'll get rid of quick blitz temporarily, just so that way I can add potion. Maybe Spark is really good. Alright, before I go through, because... Oh, wait, no. Is this an extra area? Okay, I thought that was a zone area. Like, we had to switch to a different map. Obviously, the spirits to find and create and get are the ones that are going to teach me combo plus. What? Got him. <laughs> I like that. I like doing that. That's funny. Can you do it again? So what's to stop you from just doing this infinitely? You just can't move. Oh shit, little goats. Nope. It's like a... What was the game that you, you kind of do this in? Okay, let's do a spark goats. Oh, I like that. It's AoE. Potion! Ah, oh, I, I fucked that up. I think it's still kinda homes. Oh. Thanks. Oh, he increased my drop rate, what a dick! <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, you can be interrupted during it? Okay, then forget it, it's awful. Forget it. Learn my lesson. There you go. 
I think that's a that's permanent until I drop. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, it's 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 not that good. You don't get immunity during it, it's it's not that great then. It has a very long cast. Alright, let's see if I can level up one more time before we go to the next area. See if we can like spawn an extra group of enemies or something. Oh no, that's my friend. Here. Perfect. We'll respawn. Yep. It's nice, they don't heal them either. A lot of other games would heal them and be like, oh, well, they, you knocked them down. Alright, let's see if I can make a new spirit just to create a party. That is not how you create a new spirit. There you go, thank you. Do I even have enough? I can use Intrepid Fragments. There you go. Sure. Oh no, I need four. Oh no, I need, yeah, I need more Vibrance, okay. Can I do anything with Rampant Fragments? Not at all. All right, so I can't really make anything. Well, that sucks. All right, never mind. I'm pretty sure I've been fighting everything that's been popping up. Okay, this looks like it's blocked for story reasons. Like I said, I didn't play this game to the fullest, so I don't really know anything about it. I just kind of remember the sliding and the spirits, and that's really mostly it. Keep pressing X to jump. Oh, that's my friend. Achieve victory in 20 seconds or less. What the? Oh, he's hiding somewhere. Well, I already fucked up. He's over there. Shit. Oh, I did it. Okay. Do we have to make a big deal of it? It wasn't that hard. Rampant Fragment. Okay, cool. A shield cookie. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like you can get on too much. At least you don't slide off our rooftops like crazy. The Coliseum. Yeah, this makes Traverse yeah. Town feel like a Never legit world way, now. Bro. Your Neku's partner? Huh? Um, I'm not really sure. All I know is that my name is Ryan. You mean, you've lost your memory? Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's no big deal. That is a you know very big deal. Say. Sometimes memories just need a little help getting out. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh. A little help. I know. Maybe Neku can jog your memory. Come on, Ryan. Let's go find him. Right. You don't play Flick Rush. I, I don't think I'll be doing that. I already platinum Kingdom Hearts 2. That took way too much energy out of my life. I'll do one Kingdom Hearts game a year, which means I'm, I'm literally two years behind, so... I like how the enemies just now show up. Okay, let's try using this. 
No, you have to be on the same plane as them. I thought it would like maybe seek out or be like a really ridiculous AoE attack. It's, it's really not. Can I fucking grab him. <laughs> maybe this is hard to pull off on the 3DS. I don't know. I don't like these things though. Pretty straightforward. All right, we're entering the. F we're gonna near the final meter of drop. That missed like everybody. There we go. What's this? I guess you can't hold it forever. But you can kind of hold it for enough to be able to, you know, do whatever you need to do. So is this a door you can go through? Nope. It's it, even when it works, it's only okay. Well, I guess we know we're removing. Maybe it evolves like that. You can evolve the command into something else. I mean, we were just there. Yeah, maybe we are supposed to go back. Okay. why they think that it's, it's really good. I don't know really anyone who thinks it's really that great. I mean, I'm sure everyone does, and I just talk to nobody about it. I think it's awful compared to the original setup. Although, to be fair, I like Chain of Memories battle system, so whatever. I know I usually just spam Keyblade cards in it, but... Sometimes when you actually put a lot of effort into it, you can make really good decks that if they don't, like, zero card you out, you pretty much win by default. That's really what I like about it. Where'd it go? I guess he automatically throws it at enemies, so there's no real reason to aim it. Yeah, it seems that way at least. I don't really like the lock on too much in this game. Alright, I guess we're going back. The fountain. Nope, can't go in. Meow Wow doing too much, but I have eternal, unlasting faith in it. Unlasting, everlasting faith in it that it will actually do something. Although the, the correct answer to that is not really. Highly doubt it. What the fuck? Well, this is pretty fun, at least. <laughs> Doing really weird shit this whole game, you know? Alright, we got level 5 at least. I guess we have to go back through the post office. Can't wait for this to be the wrong way. Actually, it's a lot faster getting through because you can just do that.
I do like that they tried to remix this world, given it's already been in like every Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, yeah, ha. Shit, slide into it. Yeah. Ha. Ha, ha. Oh. He made my drop yeah. rate go even higher. Yeah. 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 At least I didn't fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Look at this. We have to do this. No, you don't. You're fucked. Okay, what is this? Pull off at least three flow motion attacks. Alright, as long as it doesn't die. Oh, okay, there's multiple. Okay. Come on, hit hit the thing. Okay, we're done. Yeah, because they say like slide into it. You don't actually slide into anything. You just roll and it's at the end of the roll animation. Alright. You can go in the item shop? Nope, there's a box. They got a special delivery and it's blocking the door. Like how they put boxes in front of all the doors to symbolize that. Of course you can't go here, you fuck! much time to be able to do this, will I? I wonder, can you hit zero during a boss attack or anything? I don't need a friendship yeah, portal. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, the turning is all messed up because the camera. There you go. So it's kind of weird. Can you, like, grossly progress one character's story if you drop properly with them? Or, like, maybe you can't. Maybe they kind of, like, restrict that a little bit. Because I have no clue where I'm going. He's looking around for this guy. He should be somewhere. Apparently, this is also restocked. No! 1.7! Fuck you! <laughs> Are you serious? Holy shit. What a troll. I can't get away with anything with these fucking sheep around. Well, Sora's screwed. We're definitely dropping. Something tells me he was back there, and I'm gonna need to go back anyway. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to get through this combat. Oh, we get bonus time. 30 seconds! Is there any penalty for falling asleep in combat? This was like some really advanced game. You would like get a game over screen because you wouldn't be able to defend yourself. Would you pick. Yo, what is he? Okay, he's Titan, apparently. Okay, I can't do this. He did, like, Gaia's Wrath or some shit. Okay, okay. Come on! No, they took me right in the middle of doing that. No, oh, well. We got a whole bunch of stuff. You drop a screen wheel period, you can spend drop points to give the next character a bonus. Collect these droplets, you can do that. Or you can collect a lucky item. I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, it converts it to money. So you kinda have to use it. Alright, well, whatever. Any drop points in here? Can't do that. Okay. A magic gain. 
Yeah, it's 200 for level 3. Alright, sure. And then we'll do that, level 1, and we'll convert that to money. I was hoping I could store it, because I would just save it up for, like, late in the game. Sleep? Where are Joshua and Beat? Hey, do you mind? Huh? Oh lord, more Twelly characters. They really went overboard with that in this game. Look at that, look at that attack bonus. I think we know what bonus I'm always gonna get. Enemy? No. It's my friend. Stay back. And she runs away. Oh, she stayed real far back. Don't you worry about that. Take out the dream eaters. That was excellent. He beat me to it. Sora and Riku don't share levels, do they? I highly doubt it. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee they don't. Oh shit! Okay, I, I didn't let him move. Okay, good. No, they don't. Okay. Thank you. You know, it could just be a contextual grab. That might be a little bit better than trying to roll into them. Oh, sleep is gonna be good. I'm sorry I shit on it. Until stuff resists it, sleep is gonna be really good, I think. New drop bonus is unlocked. Seriously, thanks. I'm Shiki. How about you? Riku. Thanks, Riku. Her name literally means monster. Hey, that's it? You chat up a girl and then just say, sure, and walk off? I'm bad at this. Sorry. Look, it's not safe here. You should go home. If it's dangerous, how can you just leave me here? Aren't you my knight in shining armor? No. Well, You're literally a monster. Right? You've got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh, I was so just kidding. You get out much? Oh, oh. You remind me of this guy I know. Well, good thing we met. Yeah, great. Track down Joshua and beat. I actually want to use sleep more. That that might be the first time I ever use sleep because I've never seen it be that effective in a Kingdom Hearts game. Here we go. My favorite enemies so far because you basically beat them for doing nothing. Yo. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Do you ever go through this door ever? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I thought this was somewhere we've already been to. I don't really like sliding dash. Oh, not bad. Because it's just this really displacing move. How big are these worlds? I don't remember it being this big. Maybe I didn't beat Travers. What commands do we even have for Riku? Uh, Blizzard. Oh, he has Quick Blitz too. Well, until we expand the deck. Sorry, I just had to really briefly uh, reply to someone. Good times, good friends. But anyway, just literally keep doing that. The whole story of this game is I hit one motherfucker with another motherfucker. Damn straight. Okay, I see him rolling and I'm hating, apparently. 
since we want to get real ghetto in this playthrough. Oh, it's the lizards, okay. <laughs> sleep is great! I can't remember the last time I ever used sleep in a game like this. Like, I pretty much see a sleep spell, I'm like, yeah, that's never getting used. Fuck that, in this game it's amazing! And I'll use a potion in a minute if I need to. Grab him! Yeah, take your pick. Try to move out of it, too. Pink gun sky blue. Ooh, look at this. Right along the water, too. Oh, I fucked up. That's where you're supposed to jump. Oops. I can't. Yeah, it's that. That's really only for combat. You can't really slide to get around like that. Not on like Super Mega Man levels or anything. Achieve victory without using triangle commands. Oh, I could just, uh, dash into it. Okay, that's easy. Well, okay, well, if at the start you're just gonna do this, what the fuck? What, what? Oh my lord. Not hard, but they all hit me at once right at the start. In any event, I guess I'm gonna have to edit this. I don't see ya. Look at this room. I won't deny, this version this game probably had the most tweaks to it. Because obviously they had to basically actually remake this game. Did it make this collection worth $60? Fuck no. This collection is not worth $60. That is actually a marketing scheme. It's not. I mean, it really isn't. Even though this is not bad. Because they actually had to change this, and then they made it 60 FPS, which is pretty nice. Some nice silky smoothness. Sort of, yeah, we're on the upper level now. No, roll. Thank you. <laughs> so stupid. It's great, just do this infinitely. I wonder if I can actually create anything now. Alright, well there's a save point, and then this is an exit, so let's see if I can create a spirit now. Forecast bonus, chance to increase strength. We can make a Meow Wow. What else can we maybe make? What can we use Wondrous Fragments with? I don't have enough, I don't think, at all. Yeah, I need more Wondrous Fragments. Troubling and Vibrant. A Toximander. Yeah, they're, they're pretty... It's only a rank E, though. I think everything right now is a rank E, though. These are rank B. That's pretty good, I guess. Maybe I will make the Toximander, though. I'm a sheep. Okay. 
let's give it sliding dash, which will give it attack plus one. And I won't, I, I mean, should I use anything extra? That just feeds it extra levels. Yeah, I can only give it one extra level. So I'll just feed it one extra vibrant. Whatever works out, I guess. The nice thing is maybe I'll just get bonuses for having it around. And maybe occasionally it'll headbutt something and I'll be able to get something good out of that. Alright, so now I really don't have much of anything. The prickle mains. There you go, we can get to level 7. We can get to level 8 in rank B. Attack plus 1 or HP plus 5 or affinity level plus... Let's do that, affinity level plus 1. We'll heavily invest in this guy. I think you can have three equipped, but only two out in combat. So maybe we'll do that. And we'll just keep him around forever. Okay, well I officially have nothing else to use. Let's put in... This guy... Oh, we share. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Sora and Riku share spirits. That's pretty lit. Easy as one, two, three. Okay, well, let's save before I move on. Probably means that they also share resources. But that's good, though, because then that means I could just swap between the two. Just have the same party of three. Although it seems like Sora keeps whatever he has out, and Riku keeps whatever he has out. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 I got to rank B right away, that's pretty good. Don't worry, I'm sure there's like, rank S, SS. SSS. Ridiculous stuff just hanging around. Oh shit, he scared me. Oh, I, I rolled into that by accident. Maybe the one in reserve also gains experience. Maybe, I, I have no clue. So, I mean, the real question is just where do I go in general? Because I have no clue. I love this ability. I'm going to be using, like, Sleep Aga or whatever it's called. I know, I think it's just called Sleep Gut. I don't think there's any Sleep Ra. It's just Sleep Gut. Something tells me you're not going to be getting these bonuses in Kingdom Hearts 3 where you, like, just roll into stuff to get extra damage. So, uh, this might be exclusive maneuvers you could do in this game. I think they give you a little bit of correction on it. Yeah, it killed everything. Bullseye. Yeah, the circle is just a general approximation. Because it hit other stuff too. Which is nice. Aren't there enemies right over here? Okay, no, I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, it looks like I need like high jump or something. I don't know, here we go. Come on, roll into the fucker, thank you. 
Do enemies wake up when you hit them when they're asleep? They might. It doesn't seem like it. It looks like I can get a few cheap hits in first. Or if the Colosseum is where she wanted to go. I didn't even know you could get up here. Look at that. Darkest Fears Rising Wing, okay. Yo, look how aggressive the Prickle Mane is. He just flat out doesn't stop. I already like him. Dumped all my resources into making him and he was good. It's the wheel scorpion, or the wheel lizard. Okay, so this door is open. I wonder if this door was open with Sora. And was I just too much of an idiot to... Okay, well I dodged it. I keep rolling in those. Yeah, Toximander will level up in reserve. That's pretty good. Perkelman is about to be MVP. For like half the playthrough. Over there. What? Hey! We should stick together. <laughs> Perfect. You can't expect me to- oh. I ate her. Cheeky. No way. Yeah! Here, have the fucking doll. How did you get here? Who are you? By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison. To wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine. She told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a reaper. Look at these nice references. All right. Who are you? Well, we all know now. Alright, well the flower and plant shop is screwed. I don't see how this has anything to do with us. I'm really sorry, Riku. Uh. It's alright. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo! And it becomes my problem, all right. Feet Hako Monkey. I'm spooked! Is there time to open stuff? He's sleeping. <laughs> it was worth a shot. No, don't, don't fucking hate. I gotta see if it can even come down to my level. I cannot hit it at all with any of these moves. Because it's only a downward thrust, it's not anything that lets you stay in the air. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I don't, I'm not liking this. Where's the main body? Okay, 
Nah, sleep doesn't work on bosses. It's the one bad thing about it so far. It's the unfortunate part about all these status moves in Final Fantasy. They're either really good, or they're really not. And there's no real middle ground. Am I gonna drop mid-boss fight? I might. Actually, technically it's good for like the little side monsters, but... That might be it. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. You can like air slide into something. And I always end up in this little armpit. Well, I get my 30 seconds, and then after that I don't get anything else, even though I would win this fight. Don't worry, he'll come back with full health, I'm sure. Where is he? Where's his full body? Come on, one more hit. Got it. Okay. You get HP and deck capacity from killing major bosses. So you want to know what's sad? The second I move on, I'm going to immediately swap. Which probably means I have to do something as Sora. I don't know if maybe like I can't move on to the next world until I do Sora's story here. Or if I can just progress disgustingly with Riku. That attack boost made a world of a difference. here in front of me and I can't reach her if your hearts are connected you'll reach her very cryptic Riku Rhyme. Neku Maybe you auto drop after a boss. Skull Noise. It provides a balanced boost in strength and magic. 